Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. So I was first introduced to YouTube by my, uh, by my daughter. Uh, she, like a lot of people her age, uh, are into gaming and they play all kinds of games like uh, Minecraft and um, The Last of Us or The Walking Dead series or Assassin's Creed. Like, I mean, I don't know, maybe a lot of you play those games. But uh, she introduced me to YouTube because we used to watch, I used to watch with her actually, um, different walkthroughs on these games. And so I became very familiar with um, a lot of the uh, YouTube channels like The Media Cows and Dashy and um, uh, Corrales and Zuma. You know, those are like super, super uh, huge uh, in the gaming world. And I used to, you know, watch the walkthroughs with her. And I, my first impression of YouTube was that, you know, it's for games. It's a gamer's world. You know, I had no idea at the vast um, interest of YouTube. I had no idea. Um, so, and again, she was the one later on that kind of showed me, hey, you want to watch something? You know, go to YouTube. And uh, so when I became interested in um, like doing a lot of research on um, how to live simply or looking for alternatives uh, to um, housings that were low cost and you know like the tiny house movement I was very interested in stuff like that because I wanted to um, I wanted to be financially free I wanted to use my money wisely where I can retire and um, even maybe be semi-retired and not be a slave to money. So I was like looking for alternatives, like, well, maybe I can move into a park model or an RV life or a tiny house. And so she actually introduced me, say, well, you can go on YouTube and find out all kinds of things. And that's what I did. So my first introduction to YouTube was actually through my daughter into the gaming world and then into the, the various um youtube channels and ever since that day i will tell you guys i my interests are very diverse i love uh diversity i am all for different i eat all kinds of foods i listen to all types of music i watch all types of movies and shows and channels i cannot um i don't like when people ask me to like name three favorite books or three favorite uh, artists because I don't have three favorites. I like all kinds of things. So when I look at my, if you saw my, uh, you know, what I actually watch on YouTube, you will see a variety of things that I watch. And each of these channels um, holds a special interest to me. So I thought that today I would kind of like my sh do a version of my shout outs to other people actually of channels that I watch on a regular basis and why I watch them, you know. Um, and you'll see the variety that I have. So today I'm only gonna do a couple and then down the road you will see me do the shout outs of the various uh, shows that I watch. But first I wanna tell you when I watch a particular channel, I like to watch from the very first video they've ever done all the way up to where they're at now. I really like to get to know them. I feel like I do get to know them uh, when I watch each vlog. Now, it doesn't matter to me uh, if it's um, a chat one or if it's about their life or if they're just doing tutorials because I believe you show a little bit of yourself with every vlog that you do, even if all you're doing is teaching. Uh, so I like to do from beginning to the end of all the vlogs so you'll know when I'm doing your channel because I'll be like uh, leaving comments on the different ones <laughs> so I like doing that I also like to hit the bell button the bell and I so I can get notified now I don't look at the news feed on my YouTube I actually get everything sent to my email and that's where I open up your vlogs and uh, this way, if I get behind and I'm busy doing other things, when I get my t some time, I just go to my emails 
and I click on that one and I, and I, you know, it's, it's like saved in my email box and it doesn't get deleted until I'm done watching. So I never miss an episode. <laughs> so that's what I like to do with my channels. So today I am going to do, tell you about a couple of mine and that's, I don't want to keep it this too long. And then, then I'll do a couple more episodes with the other ones. But I'm going to show you the very first one that I've ever, ever watched happens to be Fineth. Now, Fineth is Ariel, um, and she lives in Wyoming. And this is a Welsh name for meaning my nest. Now, I first came across uh, Fineth. Um, let me hold it up if you guys are interested. And I'll have it in the comments below. My handwriting scribbled. But I first came across her on Pinterest, actually, and she uh, started, I was a blogger, and I really loved her tiny house. Now, Ariel is a young woman in her 30s. Uh, she is single. She is living in Wyoming in a tiny house. She grows her own vegetables, and she was kind of, I don't want to say she was forced into this uh, kind of lifestyle. It's just that, you know, um, where she was living with roommates in an apartment building, uh, they sold it and she had to move out and I guess the high cost of rent uh, she opted to you know for to actually buy a tiny house and uh, where she can live on a very small budget and um, be self-sufficient so to me I love find that because for first first of all I fell in love with that tiny house I really did and second of all, I like that she was living financially free. She's basically living financially debt free. Um, and the third thing is I liked the fact that, um, well, what interested me was she's a, 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 she came from a family. She's a Mennonite. Is my saying that right? She's not Amish, but she's a Mennonite family. Um, and I think back to, you know how you got, we always say that if I could go back in time Knowing what I know now, um, I would want to, uh, and if I had no children and I wasn't married or, you know, and I didn't have any attachments, I would live that type of life. I would live what she is doing, living in the wilderness, basically. She is living in, the, you know, in the, into, in the uh, mountains of Wyoming, um, being self-sufficient growing her own food. She does a lot of canning, preserving. She does a lot of um, foraging in, you know, I mean, like doing her own healthy um, medicines, herbal and medicines, I should say. Um, I mean, she's just super self-sufficient. She does a lot of uh, hiking and trails, if you like, if you like that sort of thing. And she also does um, photography of the wildlife there, like the moose and the uh, buffalo and the, you know, just the variety of, of and, you know, of different animals she does uh, also do vlog uh, videos of them but I love her I love her she started it all and I see that she's kind of went back to writing her blog again because I fell in love with her blog first that was my first thing and because uh, I, I love to write which leads me to another thing if you guys have any blogs that you like and you want to maybe share them with me of any artist i put that in the comments below i would love to check them out i i love blogs i i'm a i'm a that's my first love is blogging <laughs> well anyway the second one i actually is art of the budget can you see that and that is nicole i came across nicole by accident now i said i don't do the news feed right i happen to turn on my youtube and what did I see? Art of the Budget was right on there. Nicole. And what caught my attention to her? Now, this is my fairly new one. I have not, I've just started watching her uh, maybe two months ago, maybe not even quite. And um, is that she was doing a giveaway. And it's not the giveaway per se that I was interested in, it's what she was giving away. She was giving away um, handmade mugs. Because she does pottery. And I was just like, I don't, I've never seen a pottery channel before. So I was just like blown away by that. So I started watching her. But 
she really does more of um nicole does more of budgeting and she shares her uh her uh goals of being um financially free uh providing for her future i think she is an art teacher and uh so she does a, uh, an actual budget spreadsheet that she does and she shares with her about excuse me she shares with us her budget and her fails and her wins uh, what worked for her what didn't she does comparisons i will tell you that of all the budgets i've seen and i've done a financial class she actually will um, list even like if she spends 50 cents during the week, she will put that something down on her budget. So she gives you a lot of uh, money tips and, and things like that, which I, I enjoy watching her because that's another something that I like to do is I want to be financially free myself. You know, I want to be, um, I don't want to be a slave to money. I, I want to be able to live my life without worrying, uh, you know, how I'm going to make it in the next, you know, I just want to I want to I want to save for my future so I'm I'm interested in in that I also liked a, a video that she did um, and I like to see more of that is where she had a very busy week at work and she prepared all her food for the week um, and you know so she wouldn't have to cook during the week now there's nothing different about that yeah we've all done that but what I liked is she made her food and she brought it to work and she left it there. So then she would just, it was already there at work for the whole week. And then she would, you know, for her lunch, she would just didn't have to worry about anything for the whole week. I did like that video when she did that, where she sh shared that with her, with us. And again, she was very open what worked and what didn't work. The one thing that I would love to see from Nicole <laughs> I would love to see her actually doing the pottery. I am so interested in that. I would love to see her, you know, at her wheel making the mugs or making whatever she does. I would love to see that. I find her very interesting. Please check her out if that's what you're interested in also. And I'm going to do one more and I will let you guys go. Again, if you can see the, the difference of, of the channels, I do not not stick with with one particular group and i've noticed that that's what youtube really kind of does is either you're the homesteaders or you're the you know the gamers or you're the crafters or you know but um or you're the off-grid people you know you're the van dwellers i like all of it okay so my next channel that i'm going to um give a shout out to is angela from yarn and yarns now there's a re can you guys see that or is that too yeah yarn and yarns <laughs> i love her because she's got first of all she lives in the uk okay she is british i love all things british she has a yarn shop in in which how cool is that and <laughs> and she does spinning she does um uh, what can I say? She knits, she crochets, uh, she does wall hangings, she does like sweaters, and I mean, um, she does these cups. I never, I never even thought about making like your uh, hand carp, uh, cups for your hand. She does festivals because she's a you know shop owner, so you will see her going to the different shop um, festivals, and I mean, she just does a whole variety of things. I love her. I love um, I, I love watching her as as like I said as she takes uh, and she also does, uses public transportation. She takes us on walks. She does a um, you know shows you London, shows you uh, her little town. So I mean I love I love Angela. I love putting in and I you know she shows her little niche that she does. She has this little attic uh, with like you know in a corner where this is where her chair is and this is where she reads and it's just it's just all very lovely and british how's that <laughs> it makes me think of the british countryside i love angela 
I love uh, trying to see, uh, she loves to knit uh, socks for herself and, and just the different things that uh, come up in her life and in her shop. Uh, I, I would love to see more of her shop. I want to see how that looks and just the operation and um, yeah, so things like that. So anyway, those are my three shows. Just to recap, Angela from Yarn and Yarns. Um, Nicole from Art of the Budget, oops, excuse me, and Ariel from Fine Nest. I will have their channels down in the descriptions. I hope you guys will go check them out and check in in a few days. I'll do another sh couple more shout outs and of the channels that I love to watch. So all of these, I love, I said, I, I, I think I've seen all of Fine Nets, okay? I have pretty much watched, um, I just started watching um, Nicole, so I still got a lot more to watch over there. And Yarn and Yarns, well, <laughs> I watch her uh, pretty much. I've caught up with all of hers, too. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to put in the comments any uh, blogs that you guys watch that I would love to, or read, I should say, excuse me, any blogs that you read that um, I will definitely check them out. I'm always looking for uh, new blogs and writers. I love it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.